We get a lot of great feedback at Zogo about our software platform and how easy it is to use. But sometimes people aren't quite sure how to create their actual content. So I'm going to show you a really easy way to do that today. Now, if you're a graphic designer, then you're already familiar with industry standard design tools like Adobe Illustrator, Sketch, Pixelmator, and Photoshop. But if you're not, then those applications can seem a little bit intimidating. So what I'm going to show you is how to actually use Microsoft PowerPoint to create content and export it so that it can be used in the Zogo application. So to get started with, let's just open up PowerPoint and select a template. Um, now I think Atlas looks kind of cool, so let's just click this template in the upper right here and click on Create. So PowerPoint is going to open my template and we're going to just add some text and images here. Now I'm not going to go into all the features of PowerPoint because presumably you already know how to use it, um, but I will show you how to make sure that it's formatted correctly and then we'll export some content and load it into Zogo. So let's just assign a title here and now we're going to go to Insert pictures and I'm going to put a logo in the bottom right hand corner that's something that a lot of people would want to do so I'm going to go into my logo folder and select a uh, light background logo and now I just need to shrink this down and pop it into the bottom right there so really really easy to do with PowerPoint and now let's switch a couple things around. So let's go to design. Um, I think first of all, we'll make it blue so it's uh, closer to our company colors. That looks better. And now let's go to slide size. Now this is really important because all modern TVs and projectors display content in 16 by nine format. Um, the old standard four by three is more square. Um, so those are like the TVs we had 20 years ago. So if you export something in four by three, then it's gonna appear pixelated and cruddy when you put it onto a 16 by nine screen. So just be aware of that. Um, this one's already in 16 nine, so we're good to go. Let's just add a second slide here. I'm gonna call this slide two, uh, but you could build as many slides as you want to and your company colors, add whatever text and images you want, etc. cetera. Um, so when we're all done building our slides, we're gonna to go to File, Export. And when we do that, um, PowerPoint is gonna prompt us to, uh, to enter where we want the files to go. And then we have to select JPEG or PNG as two of the file types that Zogo accepts. JPEG makes a little bit smaller uh, file sizes, but the images are not quite as crisp and clear as PNGs. So let's go with PNG for this. We're gonna save every slide, because um, we've got multiples. And then the resolution is gonna be 1920 by 1080. So that's 1080 HD. So if you use that, then it's gonna work on any HD television. So let's go ahead and export these. And PowerPoint is gonna tell me that it's created the files, put them on my desktop. So now I'm gonna shrink down PowerPoint. Uh, it's worth mentioning I'm on a Mac here, but it works the same in Windows, obviously. Um, let's open one of these PNG files just to check it out. And it looks exactly like it should. So it's a 1080 file, 16 by nine, it looks perfect. So let's go ahead and select both of these and then we're gonna copy them. And now I'm gonna jump over into Windows so that we can use Zogo. So this, uh, this screen is actually running Windows here. So familiar Windows 10 interface. So let's go ahead and just paste those two files that we just made. So there's our new PNGs. And I'm gonna open up Zogo. I'm already logged into it. And I'm already in the library. So let's go back to the main screen. Now we're gonna click plus new in the upper right hand corner, just like always. Choose new media item. And let's up, upload one of the PNG files that I just made. So we're gonna select slide one here. I think I'll change the name and we're gonna call it Zogo PowerPoint or something. And then we're also going to add some, uh, some word tags. Uh, this is just in case we had a huge content library, then we could actually search for this content in real-time mode if we wanted. So we'll do PowerPoint, Microsoft, Blue. Let's go ahead and save this. And now we're going to be taken back to the main screen. And you'll see in our library at the top, on the top left, we're going to see the new PNG file that we just created and loaded into Zogo. Now we'll take this one step further and actually add it into a playlist. So I have an existing playlist here. Um, this is all some demo content. So let's just click on add item. And now we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom of the library. 
and we should see the new PNG file we just made. So there it is. I'm going to click on that once and now it's added into this morning playlist. And next thing, I select how long I want it to be on screen. Let's just say 30 seconds. And we're going to save it. And that's all there is to it. So once I add uh, players to this particular account, I can assign uh, any playlist to any player that I have. And that's all it took. I just created all my content here in PowerPoint and it only took a few minutes. So again, content creation doesn't have to be hard. Uh, if you're a designer, you can go for Illustrator or Photoshop and do very complex things. Um, but if you want it to be easy, as I've just shown you here, uh, you can use PowerPoint and in just a few minutes have your content up on the big screen.